today's kissing day. And I don't know about anybody else, but truthfully, this, lots and lots of kisses, was my absolute and utter hell when I was a kid. And even as I turned into an adult, you see, even now it's triggering me one more. That's better. I have never been the sort of person that likes to be touched, let alone kissed. The thought of having to have a partner that wants to kiss me, I was a bit like, Ugh. I preferred my books. Books were safe. Books didn't have to deal with the whole kissy, touchy, horrible thing. And I'm one of these that never made my kids kiss their aunties, grandparents, things like that, because, well, I don't want to be kissed, so why the hell would I make them kiss someone? So I never had that issue with my kids and the autism and kissy things because I didn't like it and I'm on the spectrum. I know they're on the spectrum. I just acknowledged it. But I saw so many parents with kids on the spectrum that kiss your auntie, kiss your uncle, kiss your grandparents and the kids are like, no! And the parents are like, come on, you've got to, you got to. And I'm thinking, why? Why do we need to give them a kiss? Why can't we just give them their space? I wouldn't want some random kissing me. Oh, no. There's a noise involved. The lips feel weird on my skin. There's maybe wetness or a moistness, and that moistness stays on your skin or on your lips. Oh, no, 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 no. And what if they smell funny? A lot of people don't realise that not everybody likes the same perfume. So maybe the kid's actually having an issue with the way that person smells. Not in a they reek smell, but actually for that person, they may actually smell weird and funny. I can be really funny with smells, and I know my son could be really funny with smells. He actually bit his teacher once just because she changed her perfume. And he didn't have the words to say, you smell wrong today. And she kept insisting to come to him like she did every day and give him a cuddle like she did every day. And this day, every time she went to give him a cuddle, he was like, no. And she kept coming and kept coming because she didn't know something as simple as she got a new perfume triggered him. So think about it. Kisses. There is a noise aspect. There is a noise. There's a sloppy noise. There's odd noises. There is the texture of water on the skin, on the lips. There is the sweat and there is a smell. So kissing day. It's okay to not kiss. Think about that and try not to force our kids. Hope this helps somebody out there with people on the spectrum. This has been Thoughts with Points. Take care and no kissing.